Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm disembodied Tom Corliss. You're now the news for July 2nd, 2021. Of course, I'm disembodied. We're in between studios right now. We don't have anything set up at our old iDrive studio. We're moving to our new studio in celebration called aptly WDWNT Celebration. Uh, We opened the studio on July 8th with our return episode of WDW News Tonight at 9 p.m. And that is on our newly renamed YouTube channel, Unplanned Downtime, which you can find at unplannedDowntime.com. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss News Tonight and all the great shows over there. And of course, tickets are available to join us in the studio for all of our July episodes now at WDWNewsTonight.com. Uh, As well, this show will move to its new studio on that Friday, July 9th. Until then, disembodied Tom is here to stay. Yesterday, we reported that the Orlando area is in the cone of uncertainty of the storm path of Elsa. As of this morning, Elsa has strengthened from a tropical storm to a hurricane. This is the first official hurricane of the year. Its five-day projection continues to include a projected landfall in Florida on Tuesday morning. We'll keep you in the loop as to if it will affect the operations of Walt Disney World. Disney has announced a new extended evening hours offering for Disney Resort guests and shared more information about the early park entry they announced a few months back. Starting on October 1st, early park entry will give resort guests the first chance to enjoy select attractions at every theme park every day. Guests will need a valid ticket or annual pass and a theme park reservation for the same park on the same date for early theme park entry. In addition, guests staying at Disney Deluxe or Deluxe Villa Resort Hotels will also be able to enjoy extended evening hours on select nights in select theme parks. Extended evening hours will begin in early October with specific dates and parks to be shared at a later time. Please note that guests will need a valid ticket or pass and a theme park reservation for the same park on the same day as well to experience the extended evening hours. Guests may also visit with a ticket or annual pass with park hopper option as long as they entered their reserved park earlier that day. Select attractions, merchandise, and food and beverage locations will be available for both of these options. And Disney wants you to make sure you bring your Magic Band, Disney Magic Mobile Pass, or Key to the World card linked to your stay or another form of resort ID. Walt Disney World has stated that they will be bringing back the Disney Dining Plan, although it remains unclear as to when. Quote, while we're not quite ready to share an update on timing, we are planning to bring this guest favorite option back at a later date. The Disney dining plan was suspended in March of 2020 when the parks closed and has not yet returned. Winter Summerland Miniature Golf at Walt Disney World reopened its summer course yesterday, July 1st. The winter course will be reopening on Saturday, July 3rd. Winter Summerland reopened for a limited time for the holidays while Fantasia Gardens was closed and Fantasia Gardens was open alone during that period. But now all mini golf is back as of July 3rd. Magic Kingdom's nightly fireworks show, Happily Ever After, has returned after more than a year with no nighttime spectaculars. We witnessed a full show test from a few days ago, but it was nothing compared to being in the park for the actual return of the show. Of course, you could watch that full return performance and hear the entire crowd sing and celebrate along with us uh, right here on our YouTube channel. In its first ever update, Mickey's Philhar Magic will soon have a new scene representing Pixar's Coco. The musical number Un Poco Loco will anchor the new scene when it opens to guests at Disney California Adventure and Disneyland Paris on July 17th before being added to the Magic Kingdom Park later this year during Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration, which begins October 1st. With Donald Duck invading the world of Coco, this marks the first time Disney and Pixar animators have worked on a creative endeavor where characters from both animation studios will be seen together on screen. One of Coco's original composers, Germaine Franco, will be producing a score unique to the attraction for the scene. According to Disney, all of the show's current musical numbers will remain when this scene is added. How great is this? This is, this is a wonderful piece of news. Trader Sam's gift shop, replacing Trader Sam himself, has been uncovered aboard the Jungle Cruise of the Magic Kingdom. We first learned about this new scene in April. It's one of the many cultural sensitivity changes for the attraction. In the story, Trader Sam has turned the lost and found of the Jungle Navigation Company Limited into his own gift shop, featuring an accruement of lost items from cruises. The building itself arrived in May, but was not uncovered until today. Some of the surrounding area is still covered, so more elements will be revealed later on. Of course, it's also missing some of the mischievous monkeys and an elephant uh, that were pictured in the concept art. Uh, It remains to be seen if and when those will all arrive. We assume they will. You may already have 999 ear headbands, but there's always room 
for a thousand. Maybe even a thousand and one. Walt Disney World has two new Haunted Mansion ear headbands to add to your collection. We found them at the Emporium in the Magic Kingdom. They're not yet stocked at the Memento Mori next door to the Haunted Mansion. On one pair, instead of a mini bow, one of the mansion's candelabra gargoyles sits on the center of the headband. One ear reads 999 happy haunts against a spooky night sky, and the other ear has some of the attraction's famous characters at the mansion's gate. The second pair is from Her Universe. The studded ears feature the famous wallpaper from the mansion. The purple bow has safety pins clipped in it and a Madame Leota brooch in the center. The Her Universe logo is embroidered on one side of the headband. The back of the ears features a ghostly skeleton and the words Foolish Mortal. The Haunted Mansion is embroidered on the other side of the headband. The ears are $29.99 and $34.99 respectively. Epcot Forever has also returned. The show premiered in 2019 as a temporary replacement between Illumination's Reflections of Earth and the debut of Harmonious, which will now debut on October 1st. Epcot was not quite as crowded as the Magic Kingdom, but it certainly came close. We, of course, brought you this show in full as well. You can watch it right here on our YouTube channel. This is of particular interest because the show has been modified. Uh, the kites are gone from the show, but added pyro has been tied in. So uh, it's worth a view if you uh, haven't seen the show since it returned. It's going to be very different. We recently confirmed that the new Space 220 restaurant at Epcot was scheduled to open this fall, and we can now report that the sit-down restaurant will reportedly open officially on October 1st as part of the 50th anniversary celebration. Patina Restaurant Group has been hiring for various positions at the upcoming World Discovery Restaurant. Now cast members that have been hired at the location have stated that training will begin in early September in preparation for an October 1st grand opening. Gideon's Bakehouse's Cookie of the Month is a celebrated affair, and we decided to get in on it. Uh, this for this month on July 1st with items themed to Florida Key Lime. While the flavor of the month is normally only offered for said month, the flavors of Florida will be available past July 31st through August 12th to take part in Disney Springs Flavors of Florida event, passing a nod on to the almighty Florida Key Lime. The chocolate chip key lime pie cookie is a vanilla bean cookie dough infused with Florida Key Lime juice and covered with chocolate chips and a special key lime pie crumb. It's available for $6. And the Key Lime Pie Cake is a three-layer vanilla key lime cake with tangy key lime cream cheese frosting and house-made graham cracker crust accents for $9 a slice. The full review of both of these at WDWNT.com. One of the most magical parts of the Walt Disney World experience is about to get better for the world's most magical celebration. It's been announced that soon you will see Mickey and friends in their new outfits for the 50th anniversary at your Disney Resort Hotel. Keep your eyes peeled during the celebration for special appearances by the Fab Five in their snazziest, iridescent looks. The 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, of course, takes place on October 1st and will continue for 18 months. And that's how long you'll be able to see the characters in this way. Hungry guests now have a new option for takeaway at Caribbean Beach Resort with the new Disney Family Night Dinner. Available each night from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., the new meal serves three to four guests and come in a shareable uh, come with a shareable meal, make your own dessert, and original card type game for $79. Uh, this is available at Centertown Market. We checked out the whole thing. Read our review at WDWNT.com. It was actually really good. Fireworks are returning to the Disneyland Resort on July 4th. Mickey's Mix Magic will return to Disneyland Park for the first time since March of 2020. Before reintroducing guests to the nighttime spectacular, Disney has to test the show, and they did in front of guests just the other night. You can watch the full rehearsal of Mickey's Mix Magic Fireworks right here on our YouTube channel. The Matterhorn bobsleds are back at Disneyland. The attraction, of course, remained closed since March of 2020 when the entire resort closed, but now it is officially reopened as of today. Disneyland Legacy Pass holders can now pick up an exclusive popcorn bucket the next time they pop into the park. This version of the 65th Anniversary Retro Popcorn Bucket has the annual pass holder logo, remember that, and it's $19.99. Instead of the Mickey and Minnie art, this popcorn bucket has a silhouette of Sleeping Beauty Castle and the classic Disneyland logo. The side of the bucket and the strap feature the annual pass holder logo. Retro art depicting the different lands is also found on the sides of the bucket. Hungry Bear Restaurant reopened, and we were excited to find a new exclusive reusable cup featuring Humphrey the Bear. The Humphrey the Bear Cup featuring Humphrey, of course, comes with your choice of soft drink. It's available for $13.99, and I desperately need one. 
In honor of Black Widow finally hitting theaters in Disney Plus this month, Natasha Romanoff herself will be appearing in her new white suit at Avengers Campus in Disney California Adventure. The snowsuit has been featured in the movie's trailers and posters that you've had to see for years now, as the movie's been continuously delayed, uh, but Black Widow will be wearing it through July for photo ops. Shared with us earlier today via Twitter user Corey WDW, the Disneyland Hotel is back and has added new, fresh carpeting and flooring to guest rooms in common areas. While the new carpet is similar in color to the previous version, the new style features fireworks bursting throughout as a pattern and also some Mickeys. It matches perfectly with the very special headboard that lights up with fireworks and plays A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. New themed carpeting has been installed in the hallway as well, resembling the It's a Small World attraction. You may have seen this before as a test section of this carpet has been installed in the hotel for years in at least on at least one floor. Uh, now it's everywhere. A section of flooring in the hotel also includes a pattern of iconic Fantasyland attractions in a Mary Blair Small World style. While the Disneyland Hotel did reopen today, uh, most of its dining locations did, but one did not, and it will not reopen. Disney has confirmed that Steakhouse 55 is permanently closed. It opened on November 27th, 2006, replacing Granville's Steakhouse. Guests will still be able to dine at Tangaroa Terrace Tropical Bar and Grill, Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar, and the Coffee House, although Coffee House didn't end up opening today. Disney also confirmed that the PCH Grill at Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel is also closed permanently. There is no reason as to why these are both gone forever. It's unclear what the future may hold for either of these spaces, but a Steakhouse 55 and PCH Grill are now things of the past. Disneyland Paris is opening a PCR COVID test center starting today in Disney Village for guests who need to have a test before traveling back home. This will include those of us in the United States. The testing center is being done in partnership with Loxamed by experienced medical professionals before departure to ensure a smooth onward journey. The site operates from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. COVID tests are no longer free for tourists in France starting on July 7th, so you will have to pay here and anywhere you go at that point. However, prices are capped at 49 euros for a PCR test or 29 euros for the rapid result antigen test. Prior appointment and payment is required for the Disneyland Paris test site. This is great. We had to travel, not that it was complicated, but we had to travel a little bit outside of the bubble to get a test to come home. This makes things a lot easier for tourists from other countries. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let them plan your entire trip. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. The Vacationeer, the official travel agency of WDWNT. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. For the Worldwide Leader in Disney Parks News, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today, and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Now back into, back into the void I go. Ooh. WDWNT presents Timekeeping, a year-by-year journey through the history of the vacation kingdom of the world. Join us for the premiere Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern or watch on demand anytime on the WDW News Today YouTube channel.